My name is Haruto Yanagawa, 26, employed. It was Friday, so I was out at an izakaya with my friend, Kaoru Asahina. You get a vacation every August, right? Do you know what you're gonna do? Uh, I get one every year, but I just go back to my family home. Really? I wasn't good at talking to people. I was a nerdy introvert with no friends. Honestly, the only person I could call a friend was Kaoru. I met Kaoru when we were on the same team for collab with a different company. Huh, if you continue like this, we can't meet the elderly people's knees. Um, what about we put audio guys? I think it will be a helpful tool for not only elderly people, but also those who need assistive features. Oh yeah, let's refresh the details to incorporate audio guys. I suggested a solution to Kaoru for the project, and the development went well. Thank you so much! Thanks to your suggestion, the project looks like it's gonna go well! Oh, uh, your original idea was good. I didn't do anything. No, no, the success of this project is all thanks to you! Oh yeah, let's go grab a bite next time! What? We found out we had similar interests, so we became friends even though we worked at different companies. Your company doesn't offer summer breaks? Yeah, but Yuri's been saying she wants to go to an amusement park, so wanna go? Or do you not like that stuff? Nah, no, I'm in. I haven't been to one in a while. Yuri was Kaoru's younger sister. The three of us went out to eat and hang out often. I was kinda into her. An amusement park with Yuri-chan. I'm excited. One day in August. Haruto-san, sorry to keep you waiting. I haven't waited long. I just got here. Thanks for coming along to Yuri's thing. I've been looking forward to it. Thanks for inviting me. Let's do this. Uh, um, your outfit looks good today. Really? I'm so happy. I dressed up because it's an amusement park date. D -d 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 date? What? This is a date? Uni, I'm here too. Don't treat me like a third wheel. I know that. We got to the amusement park, bought our tickets, and went in. It's been a while. I'm so excited. Is there anything you can't ride? No, I like scary ones too. There's nothing I don't like, so I can do anything. We can go on anything we want then. Yeah, what should we write first? We stood at the entrance discussing. Wait, I was wondering who, but it's Yuri-chan. A man called out to us, someone that knew Yuri. He ignored Kaoru and me and only spoke to Yuri. What a coincidence. Is this what they call destiny? Wanna call it fate and go around with me? Here with my brother and friend, I politely decline your offer. What? Why not? Don't be so cold. If your brother is with you, let's all get closer. I couldn't stay silent. I interrupted. Um, Yuri-chan seems uncomfortable. Can you stop? Looks like you came with a group too. Eh? Who's this? Lame glasses. Looks like a nerd. I refuse to believe that you're here with Yuri-chan. Can you not make fun of him? Haruto-san is not a lame nerd. Whatever. Oni-chan, Haruto-san, let's leave this guy and go. I haven't given up on this date. Who's that nerd? That guy's weird. Who's that? My co-worker. Let's go. Oh, okay. We left him and tried to go through the park. Sorry about that. He's my co-worker. Mimasaka-san. He tries to get at me at work. It's annoying. I see. Does he mess with you? Are you okay? He doesn't mess with me. But he uses my first name and follows me around. I can just stay silent if he's doing that to my sister? Haruto! 
You're right, we might run into him, so let's be careful. After that, Yuri talked about Mimasaka's weird behaviors at work. He waits for Yuri to be alone, and asks her to eat out or hang out. Yuri-chan, wanna go out for dinner after work? You don't have a boyfriend, right? I can make you happy, and you can't find a handsome man with a good job like me anywhere else. I appreciate the thought, but I like someone. Sorry. You're just saying that as an excuse. Is it another co-worker? Don't do it. I'm better. Our co-workers are all shy nurse. They look like they're always quiet at home, too. I don't think that's a nice thing to say. Everyone is nice. I respect them. I'm better and more confident than anyone here. I won't let you regret going out with me. That's what I don't like about you. What? It's a waste to not make someone like me your boyfriend. I don't want to go out with you. Sorry. Oh wait, Yuri-chan. I won't give up. Please do. No matter how many times she would refuse, he never gave up. He goes after her every day. She's been scared of going to work because she doesn't want to deal with him. I can't believe it. I can't. If I see him again, I might not be able to hold back. If he does that all the time, I'm sure you don't even want to see him. We'll keep an eye out for him. So, let's enjoy ourselves. You're right. Thank you. It'll be a waste if we don't enjoy the park. I wanted her to feel a little better by having fun at the amusement park. We were on the lookout for Mimasaka, but we still went on our favorite rides. Let's go! Can we go on that one first? After that, we might get wet, but I want to go on the water ride. Okay, okay! We'll go on them all, so calm down! Yuri-chan really was looking forward to this. <laughs> I love this! This is so fun! Whoa, stop the ride! Pfft, your face, hilarious! I like these rides, but this is too much! Let's go into the haunted house next! Why am I leading you two? I'm not good with this stuff, so you lead the way. I thought I was fine, but this is pretty scary. What? That's not fair. But if I show how reliable I am, I can get closer to Yuri-chan. Go, me. I led the way the whole way through the haunted house. Th that was pretty realistic. I'm glad you led the way. I could never. You were so cool. I guess it's good that I showed her that side of me. Yuri seemed genuinely upset to see Mimasaka, so I didn't know how things would go. But Yuri-chan enjoyed every ride with her whole heart. I felt myself getting more drawn to her. Are you hungry? There's a cafe, so let's eat lunch. Yeah, we did a lot. Let's rest. This cafe has collabs with the characters. They're so cute. I'm excited. Yeah. It was lunchtime, so we headed to a nearby cafe. I wanted to take a nice break there. I'm sure she'll be alone at some point if I follow her. If I just force her to hang out together. <laughs> we had no idea that Mimasaka was following after us. There are a lot of collab items. What do you two want? I want some meat, so I'll do the burger meal. I'll do the basil pasta. I'll do the grilled sandwich plate. I guess we're all set. There were a lot of people, but we found seats. We picked our items and ordered. Go to the restroom. Oh, I will too. Okay, be careful. I'm just going to the restroom. I'll be fine. 
I wasn't that worried, but I guess I was wrong. I'm glad Yuri chan's enjoying herself. When we finish our lunch, I want to plan our next ride together. Stop! Let me go! Huh? It's fine. You're alone, right? Let's hang out. I just went to the restroom. My brother and friend are waiting for me. Let me go! I'll give you a much better time than that nerd. I want to get to know your brother as my future brother-in-law, so you can bring him. What? Um, excuse me. She doesn't want to. Can you let go of her? Harito-san? Heh, <laughs> you again. You don't want to hang with this nerd, right? Let's go. Hey, stop. I'll say it again. Please let go of her. It's none of your bis- Ow! I told you to let go. Heh, <laughs> heh, stop showing off. Someone like you protecting her. I feel bad for Yuri-chan. You and Yuri-chan don't fit. <sighs> okay. I could tell he wanted to look down on me. I sighed and looked straight at him. I don't stand out. I don't have friends, and I'm a nerd. But, I'm not a coward that won't stick up for a girl in need. Heh, <laughs> a cool guy with a good job is better for her. You aren't good enough at your job to say that. What? What? I had struck her nerve. He was furious. I came to see what was going on. I knew it. You keep calling him a nerd, but who are you talking to? He works at Love Koi Japan. Did you know that? Huh? Love Koi? No way. Who's gonna believe that lie? Just because you're a nerd with nothing to show for it. You can't just lie. He didn't believe it, so I took out a business card. Hello, I'm Haruto Yanagawa from Love Koi Japan's planning department. It really says Love Koi. No way. You're Yuri's co-worker. So, you work at a subsidiary of Haruto's company, right? Of course, you wouldn't make fun of Haruto without knowing what that means, right? That's... It must have been a shock. Mimasaka's face turned paler and paler. If that's what you want, we can look over our contracts with you again. This is personal business, but if there is an employee that stalks women and insults others... B please don't! Lovko is a major client of ours! If our contract is cut because of me, I don't know what will happen! You reap what you sow. Don't insult my best friend. Mimasaka-san, please do not go after Yuri-chan anymore. I won't let you hurt my friend. Who gave you the right? You're just an employee, right? He was scared for a moment because he realized my position was above his, but he tried to defend his pride. It's none of your business what goes on between me and Yuri-chan. Yuri-chan tucked up my clothes. Uh, actually, this is your business. What? I turned around. Yuri-chan stood there with her cheeks red. Then... I've liked you ever since you talked with me about my problems at work. That's why, no matter how many times you ask me out, I can't. I had talked to Yuri-chan about work before. What did you want to talk about? Something you can't tell Kaoru? A little while after I met her, the two of us went out for drinks. Yes, no worry. My relationship with my superior isn't going well. I don't know what they're thinking. They're a tough nut. I see. That must make you anxious. I'm learning how to be a leader. Everyone thinks differently. Why don't you start by getting to know them? Getting to know them? Yeah, for example, asking them for something at work? Hierarchy is important in this field, so getting to know how they think is a good start. I see. Thank you. I'll 
I'll try that. I had just given some advice, but I guess it went well. A few days later, Yuri-chan had called me. Haruto-san, thank you for the advice the other day. I tried to communicate with them through work, and they started telling me about their personal life. I think I can solve the issue. Since then, Yuri-chan has had good relationships at work. She would often message me that work was fun. I was happy to hear that she was feeling good. Mimasaka listened to Yuri-chan's feelings. He sneered and looked at us. You just want to be a big man's girlfriend, so you're just pretending. You can't miss your chance when the perfect gold digging target is right there. You little... That's not it! Yes, Haruto-san works for a big company, but that's not why I like him. I fell for his kindness and thoughtfulness, not his resume. Haruto-san isn't outgoing, but he is thoughtful. My brother told me he's good at his job. When I met him, he really was wonderful. When I had problems at work, he helped me. Haruto-san has a kind heart. He helps others. You've been making fun of him. But I thought I told you you should fix that part of you. I don't want to be the girlfriend of someone who kicks others down to get to the top. What? You always brag about yourself and are nasty towards others. You have a terrible personality. I've always thought I could never be with someone like you. But, but... You might have been doing your best to look good, but you should have some self-awareness. No matter how hard you try, Yudi won't fall for it. Give up. God damn it! Damn it! I'll be back! Mimasaka spoke like an anime villain and left. Um, Haruto-san? Thank you for helping me. I could tell you really didn't like it. I'm glad I made it. You also got to hear how Yudi feels. I mean, I'm rooting for ya. Onichan! Don't make fun! Um, can you let me know your answer later? I would like it if you considered it. Yeah, let's talk later. I was really happy to hear it. Thank you. Uh, okay. Later, I reported that Mimasaka had been rude and stalking Yuri. I'm disappointed. You were doing all that. I have statements from others about you. I can't let this go. You will not be dealing with any clients. Just work. Promise that you will never see Asahina-san again. Nah, no! Damn it! My plans to move up in sales is ruined! Did you hear? That Mimasaka-san started a fight with the planning department at Love Koi. What is he doing? That company has been with us for so long. Eh, the rumors! The rumors spread and he stopped coming to work. Then, he was fired. Meanwhile, I was almost scared of how well my life was going. Kaoru, was it okay that I became Yuri-chan's boyfriend? Of course! No problem if it's a great guy like you! Also, I've always been rooting for you two! Wait, what? Since my brother approves, let's all hang out again. Of course, just the two of us two. Of course, here's to all of us. I'm not outgoing, but there are people around me who see the real me. The time I spend with my best friend and my girlfriend is irreplaceable. Hello, it's Brittany back again. So, in the next episode, the fight for brother and sister continues for the handsome Haruto. Alright, I'll see you guys next time.